What's up VIPs, Derek here, back with another video, and today we continue our series sponsored by Hook Audio. That's H-O-O-K-E Audio, and for more information about them, you can check out the link in the description down below. Today, we're going over the Hook Verse. It is a Bluetooth headset that records 3D audio. Now, I did an unboxing of this unit, which I'll link down in the description below if you want to check that out. But basically today, we're going to go over the unit and kind of go over what it does and how you might use it in your life. So let me just take you around the unit itself. It's very simple. As you can see, it's a Bluetooth headset. It's got a wire that connects the two, but it is wireless in the sense it doesn't connect to your phone by a wire. So it's Bluetooth. You can hook it up to any Bluetooth device. So if you see here, it's got a pretty standard thing. It's got silicone earbuds and they do come with uh, rubber uh, tips as well so if you like if you prefer that that actually goes in your ear and then you have this part which is a microphone as well hey guys i just want to jump in here real quick and let you know that i think i have the placement of the microphone incorrect i actually think it's on the part that goes into your ear not a big deal or anything but i thought i'd just let you know that way it's not super confusing and the people over at hook audio aren't like well that's not right so anyway i, I think it's actually there anyway back to the video now on the back of the right ear uh the right ear part you have a micro usb port and that is for charging, so pretty simple, and also for hooking to a uh, another audio device, which I'll get into here in a minute. Uh, and then on the left one, same stuff, earbud and the microphone, but no port, so that you can tell the difference. The port is on the right side, and the non-port is on the left. Now, my only big complaint about the whole system itself is that here on the right side, there is the button to turn it on, to turn it off, to pair it. But that button is pretty flat for somebody who's visually impaired. Now, if you run your finger along, you can tell where it is, but if you're trying to find it real quick, it's not very tactile. Uh, other than that, it's a very simple unit, so there's not much going on anyway. Uh, it does have an LED light whenever it turns on, but if you're totally blind, you're not gonna see that. So that would be my only, I don't know, knock, but that's nitpicky, because you can feel it, but it's not super tactile. As we said in the unboxing, it does come with a couple of things. The, of course, USB port for charging, and then this device to hook it up to another audio thing. So let's go over what this thing does. So when you put it on, and basically, you know, you just put it on like normal, you'd slip it into your ear, and it does have a nice feel in the ear. It does sync up uh, in the ear. Um, it's a little loose on the back, but it depends on your size of head, of course. Like, you know, it's going to depend if you have a huge, huge massive head or something it's gonna fit, it's gonna fit differently than if you have a really really tiny tiny narrow head uh it just depends on your fit so once you get it on there it's not a bad fit you know it's a little loose in the back where the mics are but other than that not too bad it does fit down into your hair really well and of course you got extra tips if you want it to have a tighter seal so once you put this on and you turn it on, you pair it with, let me take this off because I can't hear myself. <laughs> That's a good, it's a good indication though. It's a good uh, seal in your ear. So once you put it on, you pair it with your phone or whatever, just like you would any normal headset. You go into your Bluetooth, you pair it, no problem. Uh, basically you hold it down until it makes a little noise and you pair it. Same thing as you would any other Bluetooth headset. Uh, you play music through it, your voiceover works through it, all that stuff straight through the earbuds. It's got a decent sound. I don't think it's the main thing, like it's, it's going to be the main event of the Bluetooth headset, but it's got a good sound. The star of the show really is the fact that it records 3D audio. Now, what does that really mean? Well, basically, these microphones on here are recording the world around you so that when you listen back, especially with headphones on, you're going to hear birds chirping on the right. You're going to hear a van driving on the left. You're going to hear the world in a much more immersive way. And for somebody who's visually impaired, that's a really cool feature because when you're listening to something, you can get the whole experience of where they're standing and sitting and spatial awareness and all that sort of thing. So I think for somebody who uh, has visual impairment of any sort, if they're watching something or listening to something where somebody recorded with these, it's going to give them a really unique audio experience. 
Now, let me show you this device right here real quick because I found this to be really interesting. This, again, it's got a micro USB port on this end and then it has an audio jack, a 3.5 millimeter, and then another uh, USB. It's a similar, it, one of them's a macro and one of them's a mini. Anyway, basically you can plug these into audio devices. For example, I have a an audio recorder that I use to record audio for these videos, and then I just dub it over. Well, with this, I can plug it into the hook verse, and it plugs into that port where your charger would go. You plug it in there, and then you can go ahead and plug it into your audio recorder, turn this on, and then you're recording audio into an audio recorder so you don't even have to sync it up to a Bluetooth device. Now, you might be saying, Derek, that's a really short cord, but the interesting part is you can pull it out like this and then it gives you a big extension, and then all you have to do is pull in this cord, and then it'll go back down to its normal size. So it's a really neat feature that I'm so glad they included, because a lot of times, it's like, well, I can only hook it up to my phone. It's like, nope, you can hook it up to any audio device with this interesting piece of tech, and I think that is a great, great feature. So as far as using the device goes, like I said, it's very, very simple. You hook it up like any other Bluetooth device, and you sync it up with your phone. Now to use the device, they actually have an app on the App Store. It's the Hook Audio uh, app for the Hook Verse, and it's a really simple app, and they tried to build it very accessible for voiceover, and I will say 99% of the time it works really well. A Couple of quirks here and there, but I think that's just with any app, it, it's like that. So check it out, go to the App Store, and check out the Hook Verse app because that's how you would record audio and you would record video as well. You can turn the video on and off and then always record the audio with it. So here's a quick overview of the app. Basically, it's very simple, which is nice because some of these scenes could get convoluted, so I appreciate that. So let's just kind of go through and see uh, what it looks like and what options you have here. So the first thing we'll hear is... Adjustable. Adjustable. Now what that area is is turning the volume up and down on your hook audio or the hook verse and it's not the sound you hear through the bluetooth headset it is the input of the mic so if you want it uh, coming in louder or softer that's what you would use then we'll just swipe through here settings we have a settings button which doesn't really include much because everything's pretty self-explanatory but it does talk about accessibility features and how to use it which is nice video capturing off. then we have video capturing on or off so right now it's off and it will only record audio but if i double tap video capturing on it would turn the video capturing on so that now you're recording both video and audio pretty self-explanatory Video capturing off. All right, let's see what else. Gallery button. Gallery button, that's where you would go in and see your recordings. So for example, if you recorded something and you wanted to go back to it, you could go there. And when you record something, after it processes it, it sends it straight to the, gal uh, to the gallery. Record button. Then we have the record button. And again, very self-explanatory. You just double tap it and it starts recording. Record button. And that's it. So there's not really a whole lot going on with this app, but I really appreciate that because if I'm going to go out and record something, I've got something in my ear, I've got, you know, I want to make it simple. So that's the Hook Audio app. Pretty basic stuff. So pairing this with your phone or tablet, very simple. Syncing it up with, you know, the, the app and plugging it into another audio device, it just makes it a great, versatile product. So that's the basic overview of using this device. It's a great device, it's very simple to use, and especially for those of us that are visually impaired, most of the work is done in-app on your phone so that you don't have to worry about messing with a lot of bun buttons or functions or whatever on the device. So I'm going to do a video in the future using this device where you'll actually get to hear it. So make sure you have your headphones ready so that you can get the full experience of having 3D audio. And again, a special thanks to Hook Audio for sending out this unit for review purposes so that you guys could check it out. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody you know, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com, and I'll see you in the next one.